Hey there, my name is Kate Mosier. My pronouns are she and her, and welcome to Fun on the Floor. In this gentle flow class, we will be on the floor the whole time. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Grab the props that you need. I recommend blocks, blanket, bolster. I've got my mat um, doubled up here for some extra padding as well. And once you get yourself situated, Find your way into a comfortable seat and sit up tall, maybe moving some flesh out of the way so that you can really root down in those sits bones. Grow long in your spine, bring your shoulders up to your ears and roll them down your back. You can rest your hands on your knees or your thighs and you can find a soft gaze down at the floor or close your eyes, whatever works for you. So we'll go ahead and arrive now, making that transition from whatever was going on in your world before you hit play to right now. I invite you to notice the floor beneath you, the props beneath you. I invite you to notice the way the air feels on your skin, any noises in your space. I invite you to notice how you're feeling just as a curiosity, not as a way to judge ourselves. Just notice how you're feeling and just allow yourself to arrive here. Everything that I offer in this practice and any practice is an invitation for you. You don't have to say yes to them. So take care of yourself. You are your best teacher and know that going slow, being intentional and gentle with ourselves is one of the ways in which we can continue to build trust with our bodies, both physically, mentally and emotionally. Let's get started. Take a deep breath in through your nose or your mouth. And then a deep exhale all the way out of your mouth. Let's do that three more times. Deep inhale in. And deep exhale out of the mouth. We're going to begin with our fingers today, so I invite you to turn your palms up towards the ceiling if they are not already there, and just begin to give your fingers a wiggle, noticing how it feels to do this, paying attention to anything that your body is telling you about this movement. Begin to now um, crunch your hands together and then splay them out wide. noticing how this feels in your body today. Lovely. And inhale your hands and arms up and out. Palms now facing the floor. We'll give those fingers another wiggle from this position. Just changing how we're doing things. Just giving our brain some new ways to be in the world. And then bring your hands all the way back down. I invite you to bring your shoulders up to your ears now and slide them down your back. We'll do that three more times. Shoulders up to your ears and slide them down your back. Lovely. Grow tall in your spine. If your hands are not resting on your knees or your thighs, I invite you to bring them there now. And we're going to go through a couple of rounds of seated cat cow. So moving into our cow position first, pulling our hands back towards the front of our hips, pushing our chest, our heart out, letting our throat open up, 
chin comes up, gaze comes up towards the ceiling. And then moving into our cat, bringing our hands forward, beginning to round our spine and tuck our chin. So go at your own pace here, moving in and out of this cat and cow flow, just waking up our bodies, giving ourselves some gentle movements, paying attention to what our bodies are telling us and allowing ourselves a moment to take that information in and meet that information with whatever needs arise. Lovely. Come on back to center, sitting up tall once again, shifting those shoulders down your back, and begin to gently rotate your torso doesn't matter which direction you begin in, we will switch. These circles can be big and pronounced, or they can stay small and comfortable, whichever works for you in your body as it is right now. The next time you're through center, pause, and then switch the directions of your circles breathing, making space, allowing you and all that you are to be present here in this moment, if that feels accessible for you. The next time you're through center, pause and come back to stillness. Lovely. Sitting up tall, inhaling our arms up to the sky. We're gonna take our left hand and grab our right wrist and give a tug over towards the left side of our space with our right wrist, keeping those shoulders down and back, adding a little bit of sensation to our body here today. You can tug more if that feels good, or you can keep it up in the center area depending on what's going on for you today. Let go of that grasp. Let your fingers come out wide and give them a wiggle. And then switch the grip. Bring in your right hand to your left wrist and give it a tug over towards the right hand side of your space now. Breathing and keeping that focus on the breath throughout our practice. Keeping that long spine, shoulders down the back. And on your next inhale, let go of that grip, pressing your palms towards the front of your space as you slowly lower your hands back down. Lovely. Take a deep breath in through the nose or the mouth and blow it all the way out of the mouth. Let's do that two more times. On your next inhale, sweep those arms back up to the sky. Turn your torso towards the right side of your space, letting that right hand come back behind you, bringing that left hand to rest on your knee or your thigh, finding a gentle twist towards the right here. My right hand is sitting on my bolster near my booty. My gaze is my guide. So I'm not going further than I can gaze. I'm not pushing myself to a place of uncomfortability or pain. I'm just finding that gentle twist for my body just as it is right now. On your next inhale, sweeping those arms back up to the sky, this time turning your torso towards the left side of your space letting that left hand come back behind you, that right hand to the knee or the thigh, and finding a gentle twist towards the left. Notice if you go deeper on this side, if it's the same, if it's a little more shallow. This is a noticing, a gathering up of information. It is by no means a tool to judge ourselves. 
We are symmetrical beings in lots of ways, but in lots of ways we are not. So don't expect to do on one side what you can do on the other. Inhale those arms back up to center. This time bringing your palms together as you exhale to heart center. I invite you here to tuck your chin and let your head hang heavy. Pausing here, you can close your eyes if you like. I invite you to set an intention for the remainder of our practice. It might mean to keep yourself present throughout the practice. It might mean that you are just going to pay attention to your body. You might decide you don't want to set an intention at all. All of those things are welcome here, just as all of you are welcome here. If your head is bowed, bring it back up to center and blink your eyes open if they were closed, bringing your hands back down to your knees or your thighs. Lovely. We're going to move into our Supta Baddha Konasana or our butterfly pose here. So to begin, I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together, bending at the knees. I really like support in this position. So I would go ahead and place my blocks under my knees. I'm keeping my spine long. I'm rooted down in those sits bones just as I was in my previous position. And I'm going to take a moment to notice how this feels in my hips and my thighs. If it doesn't feel great, if it's a lot of sensation, you can slide your feet away from your body. If you'd like more sensation, you can bring your feet closer to your body. Sitting up tall, resting your hands on your knees or your thighs. Pausing here, you can close your eyes if you like and breathe. Noticing this stretch in your hips, the fronts, the sides, the backs of your hips. Noticing your sits bones upon your bolster or your mat or whatever is beneath your booty. Notice the way your knees contact the blocks or blankets or pillows or the floor. Just gathering up this information, getting to know ourselves a little bit deeper here on our mats today. Lovely. When you are ready, you can slide your legs long along the mat, bringing them out in front of you, flexing at the feet here, sitting up tall. You can stay right here with the flexing of the feet. You may find the sensation along the backs of your legs is just enough. So that is lovely. If you want some more sensation here and you're feeling good in your body today, I invite you to grab your blocks, placing them on the medium setting, remembering that blocks have three settings, low, medium, high. So grab mine on the medium setting, I'm placing my hands flat on them, my thumbs are hanging off the edge. I'm going to take a deep breath in, I'm going to shift my shoulders down and back. I'm going to stick my chest out a little bit, sending my heart shining towards yours. And then on my next exhale, I'm going to begin to slide my blocks towards my feet, leading with my chest. And when I find that place where the sensation intensifies and it's about enough for me, I'm going to hang out there. You may like to tuck your chin. That can also add a little more sensation, it tends to come up into my booty for me and into my lower back. In this long limb staff pose, noticing how this feels in your body today, noticing the narrative that your mind wants to take you on and see if you can use your breath to come back with each Wherever you are, begin to rise back up. You can give your feet a little wiggle here. Lovely. We're going to make our way down to the floor onto our backs with our knees bent. You want to bring your props with you. So 
place your blocks where they'll be uh, grabbable for you. I like to have a blanket under my head as a soft cushion. I invite you to do the same. And I'm going to bring my pillow to the side so I have it with me. With your knees bent, you can bring your feet out wide to the edges of your mat. And just begin to sway your knees side to side. Breathing. Just noticing how this gentle twist on each side feels in your body. And the next time your knees are over to the right, let them drop towards the floor. Lots of options here. You can keep your knees out wide. You can stack your knees one on top of the other. You can place a prop underneath your knees or between your knees. Figure out what works for you and your body today. You can bring your arms out into a T position if you like. <clears throat> Gaze can be up at the sky, towards the opposite side of your space as your knees, or to the same side, whatever feels good in your body. So we're just easing into this gentle reclined twist, a little bit different than the seated twist, although some of the energetics are the same. Just notice how this feels in your body right now. On your next inhale, if you have a prop, you can move it out of the way. Bring your knees back up to center and then let them drop out towards the left side of your space. Remembering that you don't have to do the same thing on this side. You don't have to use a prop. You can use a prop. The point here is to be comfortable to be able to find that place of balance between effort and ease. If you're finding that this is a painful or uncomfortable position, I encourage you to try out that bolster or even a block between your knees that can really help soften this twist. <clears throat> Bringing your arms out to the T. If you stop doing that for a moment, figuring out where you'd like your gaze to be and then settling in. You can close your eyes here, or find a soft gaze up at the ceiling in your space and see if you can settle in, sinking into the floor, using your breath to stay present, noticing this twist, experiencing this twist in your body just as it is today. Lovely. When you are ready, remove that prop if you have one and bring your knees back up to center. This time on your next inhale, bring your feet up off the floor and grab behind your knees with your hands. You can also grab above your knees. And if you have a strap handy, you could go ahead and put it behind your thighs if you'd like to do that as well. Your knees are coming towards your armpits, not onto your torso or your belly. So your, my knees are out wide. And if you like, you can begin to rock side to side here, finding a gentle massage along the back body, perhaps bringing the corners of your mouth up toward your cheeks in this playful posture. Breathing, allowing yourself to feel all the feels, if that feels accessible and comfortable for you to do right now. And when you're ready, bring yourself back to center and to stillness, and then bring your feet back to the floor. Lovely. We're gonna move into our supine pigeon pose here. So we're going to start with our right leg rooted on the floor. In inhale, your left leg and foot up to the sky, flexing that left foot, 
Beginning to give that left ankle a rotation in one direction or the other. We will change directions. There is no right way to start. Go ahead and change your direction now. And then bring that left ankle over to rest on your right knee. You can stay right here in your supine pigeon, grounding down into that right foot, flexing that left foot. Or you can add a couple of other options if you like. If you like dynamic movement, you can begin to rock your knee side to side. If you'd like more sensation, you can go ahead and grab that right thigh. You could also add a strap behind that right thigh if that feels good. If you'd like some more sensation with support, you could go ahead and grab a block and place it under that right foot, bringing your foot up a little bit higher, adding that sensation into the hip a little bit more. And wherever you are, see if you can breathe, send your breath energetically into that right hip, into that left knee, and allow yourself to experience this posture just as you are right now. Noticing if your shoulders have crept up towards your ears, shifting them down your back if that's the case, and breathing. On your next inhale, lifting that left foot up to the sky and then slowly lowering it down to the floor. If there's a block or a prop under that right foot, you can move that out of the way. So your right knee is bent here, your right foot's on the floor and your left leg is long, flexing that left foot. Lovely. On your next inhale, drag that left heel along the mat to bend at the knee to come up to meet that right knee. And then inhale that right foot up to the sky and begin to give those ankle rotations to this right ankle. Noticing how it feels in your body. Noticing the narrative that you have going on. Do you, are you enjoying yourself? Is this something you want to continue with? Knowing that you have agency. If this doesn't feel right for you today, you know, what you, can, you know that you need to take care of yourself. So do what you need to do to do that. On your next exhale, bringing that right ankle over to that left knee now. Same options available here. Stillness dynamic movement side to side, prop under the left foot, or bringing that left thigh towards your torso. Different side, different choice. You can do the same thing, but know that you don't have to. For me, I usually have one hip that's a little tighter than the other, so I generally don't do the same thing on both sides for that reason. Wherever you are, settle into your posture. Notice where you're feeling this posture in your body. Notice what's going on in your mind. Coming back to this moment, perhaps using my voice to come back to yourself, to your mat right now. Check in with those shoulders. Have they shifted up towards your ears? Could they be adjusted a little bit? On your next inhale, let that right foot come up to the sky, lowering that right foot down to the floor, extending that right leg long, pausing here for a moment. And then on your next inhale, dragging that right heel towards the left foot, bending at the knee, coming back to this bent knee pose. We're gonna move into our supported bridge now. So go ahead and grab a block or a bolster. 
You can place it beside you on the mat. <clears throat> Decide where you'd like your feet to be. For me, I like to scooch my heels a little bit closer to my booty for this. I like to place my palms and hands flat on the mat. I like to move my shoulders down away from my ears. And then I kind of imagine leading with the fronts of the fronts, the fronts of my hips. So on your next inhale, press into your feet, press into your hands, and begin to lift your booty up off the mat, letting those fronts of your hips shine up towards the top of your space. Let's just go up and down here for a few breaths, letting your booty come down gently to the floor. And then with your next inhale, bringing your booty, the fronts of the hips up towards the ceiling. Going at your own pace here, deciding if you need a little bit more speed or if going slowly is where it's at for you or finding somewhere in the middle that works for you today. Lovely. Next time your booty is down on the floor, let it rest there. We're just going to do a couple of pelvic tilts here. I find that these are really helpful for me when I'm thinking about the movement of my pelvis. So these are really subtle. So for the first, we're going to tilt our pelvis forward towards our belly button. So that's, you'll notice that the lower back flattens against the mat here. You might even notice that your booty clenches a little bit. That's normal. And then tilting our pelvis away from ourselves towards the floor, you'll notice that there's a little space that's made between your mat and your back now and the top of your booty, depending on your body mechanics, is really flat against the floor. So go ahead and just find that forward and back rotation. Just noticing what this feels like in your body, creating new neural pathways for ourselves to deepen that body trust and that relationship. Lovely. Come back to center and pause. And now we'll move into our supported bridge. So go ahead and grab that block in one hand, press into your feet with the hand that does not have the block in it. You can press into the floor. And just like you did before where you lifted your booty up, go ahead and do that. And then slide that block underneath your booty. So place your booty back down on the block and just notice how that feels if you feel a zing or a pain, just lift up your booty again and just find that just right place for you and your body. This should be comfortable. So if it's not, just wiggle that block around a little bit more. Or perhaps you'd like to try a bolster that can be a little bit softer. And then pause. Settling into this supported bridge shifting those shoulders down the back gaze up towards the ceiling or eyes closed and breathing allowing yourself to be supported allowing your heart to shine up towards the ceiling of your space perhaps once again the corners of your mouth come up towards your cheeks and breathe. I'm going to add an option here if you like. You can lift up one foot up towards the sky and keep one on the ground. You can also lift that other foot up towards the sky, finding a waterfall pose here, gentle waterfall. You can try it out, see if it's for you. If it's not, no worries. 
If it is, enjoy. You can also bicycle your feet. You can raise and lower your feet. You can bring your feet together and bend at the knees. There's lots of options. If your feet are lowered on the ground, enjoying that supported bridge a little bit more. And wherever you are, bring your feet all the way back down to the ground. This time pressing into the feet, lifting up the booty, moving that block out of the way and bringing your booty all the way back down. Pausing here. Just noticing what it feels like to be in your body right now. Notice if anything feels really good. Noticing if there's anything that needs your attention. You know, the itchy nose or the legging hike up. Whatever it is, take care of it. That's just another way we build trust with ourselves when we listen to what we need and we attune to it as best we can. When you are ready, you can let those legs come out long and find your way into your final resting pose. You may like a little bit more support. I am a big proponent of placing the bolster under my knees for more comfort. Always having the blanket under my head for comfort. You're welcome to close your eyes here or finding that soft gaze once again. If being reclined like this is not for you today or any day, you're welcome to find a comfortable seat. You can add some more props to support your body, but whatever you do, find a way to be comfortable in your body. Please do not suffer through any part of my classes or any classes, truly. Joyful movement is called joyful movement because we find joy in doing it. So suffering does not have a lot of space within joy. Wherever you are, notice the ground beneath you. See if you can work with gravity with each exhale, sinking a little bit deeper into the floor, into the ground, into the earth below. Practicing our mindfulness here, the noticing and the coming back, knowing that your mind is going to want to take you on a roller coaster now that things have been quiet again. And the practice of mindfulness is not a silent mind, but in the noticing and coming back to ourselves with loving kindness and without judgment. It is a lifelong practice. Take three deep breaths in through your nose or your mouth. With your exhales, you can blow the air out of your mouth with a sound or a sigh. When you are ready, begin to make your way back up to a seated position if you are not already there. Go slow, be gentle, and mindful.
use the supports you need. Use the supports you need to take care of your body. Bolster, blanket, blocks. Settle in, maybe giving the booty a little wiggle. Sitting up tall. Using the supports you need to be comfortable in this seated position. Bolster under the booty, blanket under the knee. Wiggling the booty around a little bit to get that comfort. Sitting up tall, shoulders back and down. Soft gaze down at the floor, or eyes closed here. I invite you to breathe. Coming back in to heart center. If you like, you can bring your hands to prayer at your heart or place your hands over your heart. And we will close our time together with these words. I honor the place in you where your humanity dwells, place that is filled with love, truth, peace, justice, equity, and community. And when I am in that place in me and you are in that place in you, Together we are connected at Heart Center. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, 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 peace. Thanks for being here. It was lovely to practice with you. We'll see you next time. Bye, friend.